Good morning. It's my great privilege on behalf of the President and the First Family to welcome you all to the White House this morning for this important announcement and this important executive action. To Secretary Ryan Zinke, Secretary Wilbur Ross, to members of the Congress who are here today, leaders all, we are grateful that you are here for this, uh, this important step toward American energy independence. You know, from uh, the outset of this administration, for now nearly 100 days, President Trump has been delivering on the promises that he made to the American people one after another. And it all begins with strengthening the American economy. And from the very the day after the election, President Trump has been fighting for American jobs. He's been slashing through a mountain range of red tape. He's been ensuring that our trade relationships are beneficial to American jobs and American workers first. And only two days ago, uh, this administration outlined the president's vision for tax reform that will include one of the largest tax cuts for businesses and individuals in American history. Thanks to the president's leadership, more than 500,000 jobs have been created in 2017 alone. Businesses and consumers today are more confident than they've been in years and in some cases in decades. And energy has been a central focus of this president and this administration from day one. The president's put focus on developing America's resources and strengthening our economy. He signed executive orders to open the way to, to build the Keystone and Dakota pipelines. He's rolling back the clean power plan. In a word, the war on coal is over under the leadership of President Donald Trump. And with a stroke of his pen today, President Trump will continue to break down the barriers standing in the way of America's energy future for the benefit of our economy and for generations to come. And so I say from my heart, with great gratitude to a leader of boundless energy <laughs> for his dedication to American energy independence, it's my high honor and distinct privilege to introduce to all of you the President of the United States of America, President <laughs> Donald Trump. Thank you, uh, Mike Pence, a really wonderful guy and my great friend and a truly great vice president. He will go down as a truly great vice president. Many thanks to Secretaries Wilbur Ross and Ryan Zinke. Very proud of the job they're doing. We're also pleased to welcome many members of Congress and energy industry leaders to the White House. And I want to get them immediately back over there because I know they're going to be voting on lots of different things, right? So we can't spend too much time talking about drilling in the Arctic, right? But we're opening it up. This is a great day for American workers and families, and today we're unleashing American energy and clearing the way for thousands and thousands of high-paying American energy jobs. Our country is blessed with incredible natural resources, including abundant offshore oil and natural gas reserves. But the federal government has kept 94 percent of these offshore areas closed for exploration and production. And when they say closed, they mean closed. This deprives our country of potentially thousands and thousands of jobs and billions of dollars in wealth. I pledged to take action, and today I am keeping that promise. This executive order starts the process of opening offshore areas to job-creating energy exploration. It reverses the previous administration's Arctic leasing ban. So hear that. It reverses the previous administration's Arctic leasing ban and directs Secretary Zinke to allow responsible development of offshore areas that will bring revenue to our Treasury and jobs to our workers. Yeah. In addition, Secretary Zinke will be reconsidering burdensome regulations that slow job creation. Finally, this order will enable better scientific study of our offshore resources and research that has blocked everything from happening for far too long. 
Do you notice it doesn't get blocked for other nations? It only gets blocked for our nation. Renewed offshore energy production will reduce the cost of energy, create countless new jobs, and make America more secure and far more energy independent. This action is another historic step toward future development and future uh, with a, a future, a real future. And I have to say, that's a real future with greater prosperity and security for all Americans, which is what we want. So I'm very proud of the people standing behind me. I'm far less proud of the people standing in front of me, the media. But I have to tell you that this is a very important day, and I want to congratulate Wilbur and Ryan and all of the people that have worked so hard to get this put together so quickly. Uh, and it's going to lead to a lot of great wealth for our country and a lot of great jobs for our country. So God bless America. Thank you very much.